Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. I'm still working projects out of that box elder log that I got a little while ago and this is one of them. This is a very small bowl uh, with the very pretty spalted box elder coloring here on the outside. However, this little bowl has a complication and that is that it has a pair of old rusty nails in it. These are nails that have were pounded into the tree. There's no sign of them on this side of the wood, but they're definitely here. These were poking into the hollow log. But So I wanted this project, but I wanted to keep those nails as a feature, but still have a little project out of it. So let's turn this box elder piece that I'll call Woody's Breakfast. The first challenge with this piece is how to mount it. Maybe I could mount it to a faceplate with spacer blocks and hot melt glue, but since the wood is hollow, it has approximately parallel faces between the inside and the outside. I want to keep the nail as is and avoid it. So I've decided to try to mount it simply between centers. On the headstock is a spur drive center. On the live center, I've put a rubber stopper over the live center. I want to press the wood against the drive center, but not damage any area around that rusty nail. This is not the most secure mount, so I'll be careful. After some adjustments, I can try to round it over to the centers. Easy does it, and I have had my tetanus shots. With it round, I can try to cut a mounting tenon. This is the ugly exterior that I don't mind wasting off before measuring for the tenon and cutting it. With the tenon ready, I can risk shaping the exterior. If it does fly off, I can mount it easily now. Actually, I start shaping the top side a little bit, then a bit more. In the end, I don't use the mounting tenon. Oh well, it will serve as the foot. I went ahead and sanded. Now I have the typical problem to address, the foot. The only differences are the area inside the foot area is a bit larger and, more significantly, I cannot reverse mount due to that nail. So I'll grind off the wood with a rasp cutter in my right angle tool. I'm using the plugs from the hollow log to protect the nail. I swap for a sanding head in the right angle tool to smooth the wood from the rasp. Then sand it, sign it, and give it a bath in walnut oil for a finish. I'll call this one Woody's Breakfast. 
it will not hold much cereal other than that rusty nail. Why make a bowl with a rusty nail? Why not make a bowl with a rusty nail? What better could I do with a wood that has a rusty nail? This will be a great companion piece to the hollow log with the rusty nails. I like them both. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends, and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. There are now eight years worth, over 400 videos to choose from on my channel. But please wear your full face shield anytime the lathe is running. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.